guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my workstation today video is going to be one of my most asked questions finally answered i'm going to be showing you guys how i flatten my cut crease brushes so you're going to need your brushes you're also going to need some lash glue any clear glue that you brush on and um has like the applicator it's gonna work just fine it just has to be clear you're also gonna need some scissors I like to use eyebrow scissors um, um, but I couldn't find them so these hair shears are gonna be just fine so starting off with a brand new brush this is the Mac 252 s brush as you can see it's thick with lots of hairs Compared to the old brush, um, you can see the difference between a brand new brush and what the brush looks like, you know, once you customize it and flatten it to your liking. So let's get started. You can either base your brush and some product like foundation or concealer. You can use setting spray or water, but today I'm going to be using the NYX uh, Glitter Base and I'm just going to apply a good amount on my hands and I'm going to completely saturate the brush and that product, making sure I get the front and the back, the top and the bottom. Then you're going to use your fingers and smush the brush, all of the brush hairs together. You're going to start from the bottom and work your way up and you want to make sure you're squeezing it as flat as possible you want to put a lot of pressure on this you guys next you're going to take a clean dry paper towel and repeat the same steps making sure you're applying a lot of pressure and your brush should look like this now you're going to grab your lash glue and you're gonna apply an even coat to each side. And once you have that on there, you're going to again take your fingers and you're going to press those brush hairs together. Nice and flat from the bottom to the top and you wanna make sure you're squeezing with lots of pressure. So your brush is looking nice and flat, but you still have some uneven hairs at the top. So we're gonna take our scissors and we're going to snip those hairs away. And you wanna make sure that you're cutting it in a round shape. Cutting those unruly hairs at the top ensure that you get a nice sharp cut crease. When I was working at Sephora, I had a senior artist by the name of Yoli, and one day she told me to cut off the unruly hairs off my concealer brush so that I can use it better. And this is what gave me the idea um, to cut my brushes. I started doing it after that, and yeah, shout out to Yoli, you guys. This is what your brush should look like. They should look all nice and flat and ready to cut, honey. Now. What's gonna happen is while you, when you start to like wash and sanitize your brush, you might find that the hairs get unruly. Uh, I see a lot of people say that this brush is too big for them or they're concerned about the size. I personally like the size because it gets the job done quicker. An alternative is the Morphe M224 brush which is smaller. This brush does get flat on its own, just with product. It's just concealer in these brushes, so you can use that as well. On to the MAC website. MAC has three brushes that I tend to use. Um, the M52 brush is the large one, and it retails for $36, as you can see. I And then they also have the smaller version, which is the 242, which is a throwback brush which is the same exact thing, but it's not as fluffy. And you can use that as well. And this retails for 25. 
also have the 248 brush which also retails for $25 which gets flat all on its own all you have to do is base it in your product and it gets super flat so yeah you guys that's all for this video I'm just gonna leave you guys with some of my most recent looks using my cut crease my you know flat and cut crease brushes if you guys are new to my channel I wanted to show you guys my work and you know make this video a little longer because it was a little too short sis and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you see uh one of these looks and you want me to recreate it for my channel just comment down below and i will catch you guys in the next tutorial bye